Hi everyone, this is Ramlinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Topic of the day is stability testing as per ICHQ1 AR2. Let us try to understand the intricate intent of certain words that are used in this guideline for better understanding of the requirement. The general principle of the guideline is the purpose of the stability testing is to provide evidence on how the quality of a drug substance or a drug product varies with time under the influence of a variety of environmental factors such as temperature, humidity, and light, and to establish a retest period for the drug substance or a shelf life for the drug product and recommended storage conditions. Let us see the meaning of words in this. The purpose of the stability study is to provide an evidence on how the drug substance or the drug product quality varies over a period of time under the influence of variant temperature, humidity and light conditions. The data generated from the study will be used to establish a retest period for the drug substance or a shelf life for the drug product. See carefully, the drug substance is assigned with a retest period. A retest period is a time after which the drug substance can be tested to specifications and if it passes to the specifications, it, the retest can be extended to the next time station. Whereas a shelf life is assigned for a drug product. Shelf life means expiry. So the drug product should not be used after the expiry period or the shelf life. The recommended storage conditions means it is the storage conditions during the manufacturing conditions and during the uh, transportation to the customer also. The primary secondary packaging are also a part of the recommended storage conditions. The guideline further prescribes that the choice of the test conditions defined in this guideline is based on an analysis of the effects of climatic conditions in the three regions of the EC, Japan and United States. The mean kinetic temperature in any part of the world can be derived from climatic data. It's clear that the test conditions developed or defined for the stability study are based on the analysis of the effects of climatic conditions in the three regions of Europe, Japan and the United States. The mean kinetic temperature can be calculated for the, from the climatic data available from any part of the world. It is really a tricky subject. You, you have to go through the internet. There is a calculation for that and you have to understand clearly the meaning of mean kinetic temperature. The principle has been established that the stability information generated in any one of the three regions of the EC, Japan and United States would be mutually acceptable to the other two regions. That means if the data generated in any of the regions of these three, the, two other, the other two will accept the data generated for their use. What is stress testing? Stress testing of the drug substance can help identify the likely degradation products, which can in turn help, help establish the degradation pathways and the intrinsic stability of the molecule and validate the stability indicating power of the analytical procedures used. The purpose of the stress testing is to identify any likely degradation product that means the impurities that are coming out during the stress test 
that will establish the intrinsic stability of the molecule. Important point here to note is your stability indicating power of the analytical procedure should be validated. The meaning of stability indicating power means when there are impurities during the stress test, there is likelihood that the impurities may increase or decrease. So your analytical method should be uh, able to uh, capture that kind of information. Most of the time the HPLC method is good uh, to be a stability indicating analytical procedure. If you see the test conditions, it should include the effects of high temperatures, 10 degrees increments, example 50 degrees or 60 degrees above the accelerated testing, high humidity conditions like 75% or more, and where appropriate, oxidation, photolysis, on the drug substance. The testing should also evaluate the susceptibility of the drug substance to hydrolysis across a wide range of pH values when in solution or suspension. Photostability testing should be an integral part of the test testing. So it is important to know that the stress testing is subjecting the product at a very high temperatures like 50 or 60 and very high conditions like humidity, oxidation, photolysis and hydrolysis over a, period, over a wide range of pH values. Photostability is also an important uh, stress testing methods. This is described in ISHQ1B. You may go through that. How the selection of batches is done. The guideline says at least three primary batches of the drug substance. At least means what? You can have more also, but most of the time, you know, three batches should be okay. The batches should be manufactured at a minimum of pilot scale by the same synthetic route as using the, a method of manufacture and procedure that simulates the final process to be used for the production batches. Important point here is the batches that are subjected to stability study should be exactly the same synthetic route that, uh, that, is, that will be used for the production batches that is used for commercial purposes. It further says the overall quality of the batches and the drug substance placed on a formal studies, studies should be representative of the quality of the material to be made on production scale. So the commercial scale batch representative samples only should be selected for stability study. Let us see the container closure systems. The guideline prescribes that the stability study should be conducted on the drug substance packed in a container closure system that is same, uh, same as or simulates the packaging proposed for the storage conditions. You see the word same. Same means the exactly the commercial pack that goes out of the out to the market. Simulates means the one similar to the uh, package proposed to the storage and distribution. Like for example, if you see the drug substance, you get uh, packages of about 25 kilos or 50 kilos. So how do you use that kind of uh, packages for stability studies? You can't use that. So you have to make a miniature of the drug substance uh, package exactly simulating the market pack. Stability studies should include testing of those attributes of the drug substance that are susceptible to change during the storage and are likely to influence the quality, safety and or efficacy. The testing should cover as appropriate the physical, chemical, biological and microbiological attributes. Validated stability indicating analytical procedures should be applied. See, if you see the specifications, the list of specifications for stability study should reflect the susceptibility to change during the uh, storage and likely to influence the quality of the material. So accordingly, you may have to make a list of tests with physical, chemical, biological, microbiological uh, parameters. Here also, it is very important to have a stability indicating validated analytical procedure. We have already discussed in the earlier slide about the stability indicating capacity of the analytical procedure. What are the storage conditions? The accelerated storage conditions are 
40 degrees plus minus 2, 75 percent RH plus minus 5. For intermediate storage, it is 30 and 65, and for long term, it is 25 and 60 or 30 and 65. That depends on the applicant. So if it is up, it is up to the applicant to decide whether the long term stability studies are performed at 25 degrees or 30 degrees. The choice is applicant. But this can this has to be decided only based on the region uh, in which you are working for. Another important point to note is if the 30 degrees 65 percent RH is used for long term conditions, there is no requirement to have an intermediate condition. Let us see how the strategy for study program works. At the accelerated storage condition, a minimum of three time points, including the initial and final time points, that is 0, 3 and 6 months from a 6 month study is recommended. However, most of the manufacturers use the strategy for testing the product at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. But it is not really required. You can do 0 and 3 and if you see any significant variation in uh, the 0 and 3 months then you can add 4 and 5 also before the 6 months uh, study is completed. For the drug substances with uh, a proposed uh, retest period of 12 months frequency of testing should be normally 3 months for the first year, 6 months for the second year and annually thereafter throughout the shelf life proposed uh, throughout the proposed retest period. When testing at intermediate conditions, a minimum of four points initial and final time points that means 0, 6, 9 and 12 from a 12 month study is recommended. Let us see how the approach on routine stability study should be adopted. The WHO technical report series for APIs and dosage products indicates that the purpose of the ongoing stability program is to monitor the product over its shelf life and to determine that the product remains and can be expected to remain within the specifications under the storage conditions on the label. See very important point. The purpose is to monitor the shelf life and determine that the product remains and expected to remain within the specifications. That means your strategy should be when you are adding annual batches, you are confirming that the product remains and expected to remain within the specification. So when you are adding the annual add-on batches, generally you take one batch from the uh, from that year, right? But that is not the correct way. What you should do is you have to check out the entire year and find out if there are any reprocessed batches or reworked batches or any additional um, uh, modifications done. That kind of batches are useful for stability study. So you have to use those batches for uh, add-on batches annually so that you can generate data from that kind of conditions also. I hope that this information on uh, the ICHQ and AR2 will help you to move further on uh, reading the guideline well and understand well. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please do subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.